win? Huh? What do we win? Oh, nothing. Uh, just I love when people be journaling and then they're like, hey, don't forget to, don't forget to check in with yourself. You know, like I started that, I started doing that probably like two months ago, and now people tag me every day, you know, journaling, and they'll put the same thing. Don't forget to, to check in with yourself, and it's like, man, that's cool. We gotta normalize shit like that. You know, like it's it's. I don't know. It's not cool to take care of yourself. Yeah, like what the fuck, you know. And, 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 and I mean specifically in a mental, emotional sense, like, this shit is hard. Like, mm -hmm. Entrepreneur or otherwise. Yeah, not, not just entrepreneur, but it's, it's all hard. Like, if you're trying to do anything significant, it's fucking hard. And there's a lot of pressure. You put a lot of pressure on yourself. And not only that, but like, the other big reason why that's so important is because unless you're like taking time to self-assess every day like you have no idea the trajectory you're on like people start off pointed in a certain direction and they could be one or two degrees off and end up somewhere completely different than they planned on you know ending up and uh the daily self-assessment you have to do it because then you can you can course correct every day and make sure you're still on track My name is Mark, and uh, currently at this, you know, chapter of my life, I'm I'm uh, the co-owner of Omen Coffee Co. Um, but really, I'm just a regular guy. I live in St. Louis right now. I'm originally from New York, and I just turned 30 years old. What's your favorite thing about making coffee in the morning? Honestly, man, I've just been doing it for a little while now. It's just, it's just the ritual. It brings me comfort. It reminds me of silence. I'm sorry, I'm ruining that for you today. <laughs> Gratitude and just peace of mind. Man. Those are the things that coffee brings for me. Crazy thing is, you see all these mugs? Mm-hmm. I want to drink out of none of them. I want to drink out of none of them mugs. I'm looking for my I'm looking for the mug that I like. This is the mug I like. This is my other favorite mug though. It's because it's big, it holds like 20 ounces of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of coffee. Some days it's the only meal I get to cook. <sighs> Go to breakfast. Oh, this is it. Just bacon and eggs and toast, man. I, hope, I don't know if I got that much bread though. But, but yeah, this is the only meal I get to cook, so I try to stay routine with it. But. If you're not cooking, what are you eating? Fit flavors? Uh, no. If I'm not cooking, I make a smoothie. Mm. I'm not too worried about it. That's good bacon. That's good bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Want a thick cut? Yeah. Thick cut's the only cut. And it's pork. You know what I mean? Like, too many people want all this turkey <laughs> bacon bullshit. <laughs> you see these dogs in your yard just know I'm upstairs going hard. <laughs> hey, yo, Kim K. Heard you was over at Staten Island. Slide over to Coney. Yard. Chopped cheese in Arizona, it's yard. Watch. 
about to go ring the bell. Wait, wait. Tank. He's about, to, he's about to ring the bell. Mm -hmm. That means he wants to go out. You hear it? Yeah. Tank, come here, buddy. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's some nice bacon, if I do say so myself. It's definitely not trash. <laughs> <laughs> What makes the perfect egg? Honestly, using enough grease so it doesn't stick to the pan. <laughs> um, I try to dump out some of the bacon grease. Sometimes I dump out too much. But, um, yeah, I don't know. Just cooking it in bacon grease and then frying it. That's how you're supposed to do it. Like that. Here it. 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. Louie knows what time it is. Tank, wasn't you the one ringing that bell? Tank, don't go potty or no? Hey, I know I'm just being patient. Come on. Hey, right here. Come here. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, let's go. Now you just walk out the way. Keep moving. Like every morning, I like try to mentally map out the day. And there's like falling behind to where you can still execute the plan and then there's falling behind where you gotta change the plan. We didn't fall behind where we gotta change the plan, but we fell a little bit behind. Who's got a plan B? No, 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 no. No, 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 I'm asking who's got a plan B. Oh yeah, that's, that's true. That's why you got a plan B. Motherfuckers that lose. What's your favorite thing about St. Louis in the morning? Uh, I don't know. This this walk is pretty, but I just love the morning period because it's quiet. Yeah. Like even right now, it's quiet. Hmm. Nobody here. Do you usually listen to music when you walk? No, never. So there's silence always. Yeah. Starbucks from time to time. I didn't say anything. You just snitch on yourself. <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. You got heat up here, yeah? Mm -hmm. I was going to say, if you don't want to be very upset. Every day, I come in, my laptop out, get my music on. 
Um, and honestly, I come here every day just to just to pack our orders. Like we don't have anybody to like do it. So I got boxes there. I've got envelopes there. I print out my shipping labels right here. Um, so right now we have like less than an hour. I probably got 35 minutes. Um, luckily it's Saturday. Friday and Saturday are not like super busy coffee days, but I got like less than 30 minutes to get all of our orders for the day packed. Saturday, I always, every day too, I have to take into account what day does the post office close, or what time does the post office close. So obviously on Saturday, it's only open until, I think some of them are open until one or two. Um, but since we'll be at that event, um, I've got to get these out and I've got to get them to the post office ASAP. Be swift and efficient. Every single time, guided by the very principles that I have sworn to uphold. I wanted to share that with y'all. Yeah. We're staying ready. Yeah, I know. Fuck, dude. That, that was fucking Yo, crazy. Chad is a like, literal. I'm ready, with, I'm ready with this. I love the fact that he doesn't sure. curse. Yeah. He is a literal right. killer. That does not curse. Like, that was great. He seems like the world's friendliest really former it. Navy SEAL. No, no, no. But, right. like, is a cult, like, he is a killer. Like, that motherfucker right. will take your thing. life. Yeah. The whole <laughs> no, for real. The world is that people don't live by it. He's not like a killer in a metaphorical you know sense. Like, he is a legitimate and killer. And, <laughs> and he's ready to take it there at any time. And he doesn't he swear. Does, he he does. won't say the curse words. Exactly I mean, that's pretty cool, though. You that's it's fire. That, that's one of the most hardcore, cold-blooded things that's ever. Is you don't have to tell people in tell vulgar vulgarity how cold you are. They know. Like they, <laughs> they know. <laughs> Which is funny because if people spend enough time with you, you actually don't curse very much. Like you'll say things like, "Oh, what the the heck." Abandoned. And you'll be like, ah, oh, I gotta go potty. To I'm like, this motherfucker spent five and a half years in prison. He's out here saying potty and heck. Hey, <laughs> well, we, you know what I mean? Well, I was just He's keeping it real. He's yeah. keeping it real. There are people spread across the face of this nation that are just as hungry for what is good, for what is righteous, for what is wholesome, for justice. They are spread across the face of this nation and they feel the same way that you that we live in called technology. To make people, good people, feel that everyone else has abandoned those values. Environment lockdowns, destroy, it doesn't matter, environment, okay? Well, that film that was released in 125 theaters grossed an average of $80 per theater. Trash! Damn. This is AOC, this is their, this is their lead character in this whole thing with the most pressing fucking problem in the world. $80 per theater. What's that tell you about the numbers? That's all you need to know. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, bro. You know what to do. You just heard the creep. <laughs> you just yeah. heard That's the creep. The yeah, if you remove yourself as a potential dependent on these bags, honorable, have integrity. These were still warm perfect. when I sent them I'm out saying, yesterday. Just oh, like yeah? you said. Fire. We, we hit the can't buy more you can't, can't get that we nowhere. miss the standard and we audit and then we show up better the next day i just need one more thing so i'll be right back huh? convenience is another product that's a whole different conversation but fast 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 is highly Ooh. what I've got like a little cart. Where do you want me to set up? Um, it's up to you. What kind of cart is it? I just don't want to obstruct. Uh, it's like know. it's just like a little bar cart. Um, because I, I think a uh, like a card table if you prefer. Like. Uh yeah, I mean whatever whatever works best for you. I don't care. Um, yeah, I mean, we could we could probably do Cause, like because the bar cart right here would fit. Yeah, and it, and it was still and it had the wheels on it, so I can move this. This is my buddy, uh, his name's Murphy. How you doing? Um, he just happens to be, uh, we planned a while ago that he was gonna hang with me a day in the life kind of thing, so he's just with me. Cool. Yeah. So what is the goal of today? Um, honestly, it's just to, uh, you know how it is, make some friends, man. That's it, it's just make some friends, you know, share my coffee with people, and uh, really try to, uh, 
put a face behind the name of the brand and make it easier for Zach to start the conversation with his customers. Cool. First things first is always details. Hey, good morning, Sam. What's going on, dude? Good morning, brother. How you feeling? Uh, better. Good. good to see you. What's going on, man? Good oh yeah, good to see you. Good. Hope you don't mind being on camera. <laughs> nah, he's, I'm with this dude, so. Damn straight. This is your favorite thing about being Mark's partner? Ooh, just coming in with the hard questions. I need the commentaries. I need them legitimate. Should I ask him what's his least favorite? Both. Ooh. Give me more entertaining. All right. Uh, so most favorite. I don't worry about anything with Mark. Like. He's like my twin. Like if I need something done, like I send it over. I know it's gonna be done the way that I, that I would do it myself, and that's a really like rare, rare quality. Uh, what I don't like, <laughs> Mark is me. He's just a ten year younger version of me. So when he does stuff that I used to do, I'm like, no, please don't do that. I used to do that. Yet not as seasoned. Ooh, I wouldn't go there. Uh, he's he's uh, seasoned it, we're, we're, we're seasoned differently, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. We got seasoned, salt and I'm pepper. Seasoned, I'm seasoned with that salt and pepper. Extra no. salt, salt and pepper. Extra salt. <laughs> you know, like jerk chicken and Lowry's, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> we're, full, we're full of flavor. That all purpose. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I call That's being so garlic funny. powder wherever I fit into this equation. Yeah, why people use paprika? Why people use paprika? <laughs> that shit has no flavor. Oregano. oregano. <laughs> I, I use oregano. Oregano has flavor. Oregano has flavor. I can What makes a good cup of coffee, Mark? Honestly, love. That's what makes it. I'm so <laughs> That's it. Because it's made with love or because you love it? Everybody, Both. nah. Because it's made Both? with love. That's what it says? Yeah, that's it. You can throw that out. Both. Make coffee, not war. You gotta pay attention to the details, right? Mm -hmm. You don't put the right amount of grams and the right amount of water in there. We're talking about water and grams. That ain't what I'm using. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Matt, what makes a good cup? Of, what makes a great cup of coffee? Uh, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot. It don't matter what blend. Hot, hot water. What roast? Hot water. Man. Where it's from? Just hot. Sorry, guys. This is uh, fresh ground pour over. It takes a, takes just a couple yeah. minutes. But that time will come out as quality. It's worth the wait. Yeah, hopefully it's worth the wait. <laughs> it's also throwing everything in the That smells like crack. Percolating over here and whatnot. So that is exactly the cheeseburger I was having. I still love that. Oh! Oh! I'm not that slow, man. I know a little bit. Yeah. That's what daddy likes right there. We go to Perennial. Yeah. We're doing here today. This is my buddy, uh, my buddy Brock and his uh, his wife Brittany. They own this gym here. It's nasty. Uh, a sports performance gym. But uh, he invited me here for like a men's event uh, for men that have dealt with like traumatic events or drug abuse or addiction or anything like that. Um, and um, I know Brock has a story. My buddy Derek, Derek Wyda, he has a story. And uh, he's gonna. All I know is that they plan on sharing some stuff with us today. So uh, I just want to come through and support them. Absolutely. For the community. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kind of problem. Give me another five minutes. Continue to socialize. Um, give me a rundown. I got an optional workout on the board. It's actually really simple. Just a few different movements, or you can do drop-in style. Kind of fighting back and forth. What we want to do. Again, so like again, if you want to do the drop-in style, just kind of hit whatever you want. I got some stations set up over here. We'll have the jammer arms. So you guys can fuck around on those, have some fun, and then like right towards the end, the last ten minutes, we'll get like a little team cow fucking thing. We'll we'll build her, we'll finish off, and then we'll. Uh, Get some supplements and then I'll talk to them and then uh, they're there. So. there. So I'll have some fun with it. Again, it's more about the community, building this thing. Really just have some fun with it. Again, the holidays, tough time of the year. Everybody battles, struggles. So I really want to do it. My wife gave me a lot of shit. She's like, we don't have enough time. We got to go shopping. And she says, well, we do have enough time. So make some time for it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Duck plate, contract the chest, squeeze it together. Try not to lean into the shoulder here. 
fucking 30 seconds, man. <laughs> God damn. I, oh. How you feeling, Wida? I was trying to fucking wiggle my shoulders, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I... How'd they do to you? How you treat your guests, man? I, I should get punished by this fucking method right here. <laughs> <laughs> Is that worse on your back leg? I can lock it in position, so I'm really not, do I'm not doing anything here. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Want to make sure I wasn't missing the point, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. It's like, I always think that your story and your traumas have power over you. Um, they just keep you imprisoned, you know, in yourself, when you keep them to yourself. But when you speak them, like, you get the power back. I don't know, it's weird. In my head it makes sense. You, know, you see what I'm saying? But uh, for me, I like writing. And my brother got killed when I was 16, and it, it really fucked me up. I remember... We got the call and my mom just started shrieking. Like the phone started ringing. My mom started screaming before she even answered the phone. It was just, a, and like I didn't cry. Like I'm 16 years old and I was just numb. I didn't even cry. I just sat down on the staircase and I, I didn't cry. I went to school the next day. Like it was fucking like nothing happened. And, um, and years later I'm in prison and I wrote a letter to my brother as if I had one more conversation with him, you know? And basically in this letter, I stayed up until like 2, 3 in the morning just crying like a baby. It was the first time I let myself feel the pain of my brother um, being killed. And, um, and my whole life changed, like my whole life started turning around at that point. So like, he's right, you know, as long as, it, until you let yourself feel those things, man. Now, I, now I'm like, you know, fuck it, I'm emotional, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> uh, you got to feel that stuff. But, uh, and journaling is a great tool. You know, if, you, if you're not like comfortable being vulnerable, like I, now I don't care what people think, um, but like it takes, I guess, some practice, you know, to get to that point. Like I did like AA and NA and all that shit. So like, I'm, I'm all with the kumbaya. Um, I think where most people go wrong is that they assume that happy is the default. Like they just assume that in the absence of any effort or intentional or systemic, you know, movement toward happiness that they're just going to by default be happy like you don't just get to be happy because you woke up today like you know i at least in my experience you know happiness is earned it's something that you have to work at and i think that unhappiness is actually the default especially given you know our environmental factors in society right now when you look at social media and you look at the news and you look at like just this bombardment of fucking information and stimulus and comparison and all these things and pressure and stress and we're men like i'm ambitious i want to do things i have ideas for my life and, and and they're not realized so like you take all that into consideration and by default if i don't do anything on a daily basis to basically remind myself or earn my happiness then like i'm going to be miserable today like that's just that's every day just switching my mindset from basically waking up and feeling like I deserve to be happy, like acting like I did, you know, none of us, nobody owes us anything. The world doesn't owe us anything. Matter of fact, God doesn't owe you anything, right? Like you didn't ask for this life and you didn't earn it. Like you just showed up here. So the opportunity in itself is what you get. And, 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 and if you just want to wake up and, and expect for happiness to show up on your front door, well, you're going to be fucking miserable. And that's, that's just what you get. You know, so when I switch my mindset from expecting to be happy when I wake up to like, okay, cool, thank you for the opportunity, cool, I'm good. All right, now let me go and get my happiness real quick before I go and present myself to the world for the day. That really, I mean, it changed, it changed everything. Closing thoughts? Like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thanks a lot for watching, uh, for real. I appreciate you guys more than, more than you'll ever know. Um, if you like the video, uh, like and subscribe to the channel. Um, we will have more coming soon. Also, my man, The Daily Murph on Instagram. His name is Murphy Wells. He's the guy that shoots 
uh, these videos for me. So uh, show him some love as well, uh, and we will see you next time.